You are watching In Death with me, Ela. Oppenheimer is doing wonders at the box office. The spotlight is currently shining bright on the American theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, almost 50 years after his death. Today, when people are excited about the Oppenheimer movie and can only imagine J. Robert Oppenheimer as the father of atomic bomb, very few people know that the astrophysicist also played a stellar role in other discoveries too. One such remarkable feat achieved by Oppenheimer is his role in the discovery of black holes. This is because, the father of the atom bomb, had along with his University of California Berkeley colleague Hartland S. Snyder, published a pioneering paper in 1939 entitled, On Continued Gravitational Contraction, in which equations of Albert Einstein's general relativity and gravity were used to explain how black holes could be born. Oppenheimer proposed the very first collapse model to describe how a star could collapse into a black hole. This model by Oppenheimer explains the formation of black holes as a dynamical astrophysical process, the final stage of the evolution of heavy enough stars and is still being used today. Oppenheimer's model is very significant because it is analytically solvable. Solving the equations can be done with pen and paper and does not require numerical work. All the physics is thus easily trackable. Despite being simple, it is complex enough to describe many of the features of a collapsing star. Oppenheimer's brief foray into astrophysics began with a 1938 paper about neutron stars, which continued in a 1939 installment that further incorporated the principles of Einstein's general theory of relativity. He then published a third paper on black holes on September 1, 1939, but at the time, it was scarcely noticed because this was the very day Germany invaded Poland, launching World War II. September 1939. The German foe begins its ruthless march of conquest and sets the stage for World War II. Oppenheimer never wrote on the topic again. At a time when Oppenheimer and Snyder were working on the paper which was heavily dependent on the 1915 theory of general relativity, the father of the theory, Einstein, was completing the research which was aimed at proving that black holes do not exist. However, Oppenheimer and his colleagues are believed to be the first scientists who truly understood the black hole's physical birth. Three years after publishing the paper, Oppenheimer traveled to Los Alamos where he cemented his place in history and in the public's perception. Despite his significant contributions to the field of black holes, Oppenheimer's legacy remains closely tied to his involvement in the development of the atomic bomb. His work on black holes and his pioneering collapse model, though often overlooked by the public, continues to influence and shape our understanding of the physical world.